Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Athena and I put out new videos on Mondays. So today I'm going to be doing my September favorites with demos of the makeup products on my face. So I will insert those little clips when I talk about them. Let's start. You can see my bra straps. I know. I just don't care. Maybe I should, but I don't. One of my go-to favorite foundations these days is still the Dior Nude Air Foundation. This one is in shade 10. This is the one that I mainly have on my skin. I do have a little bit of 20 as well, but as you can see, there's a huge difference in color. This is like a little orange, honestly. Their color selections are not good at all. They only have six shades, retails for about $64, but it is so blendable, it's not even funny. I personally would wear a more long wear primer with this one, just for myself. I'm more on the combination side, so my oil can definitely break through around the mouth area or I'll get like the smile line creases. I 100% like a brush with this foundation, a sponge really sucks the whole thing. This foundation, the consistency is like a liquid to powder-ish. It kind of is similar to the NYX drops or the Catrice drops. I have not tried either of those, but I do kind of want to test them all together and see which one's the bestest. I'm going to try to do like a battle. I think that would be interesting. Um, thumbs this video up if you would like to see a battle between those three foundations. One of my go-tos when I'm not using my other one, just because that one's more of a light coverage foundation. I would say it's definitely buildable to a medium coverage though. It's for someone who doesn't really like to wear makeup. It's very lightweight on the skin, but you still want to even the tone. As you can tell in the clip, like it really still does even even any redness that I have, discoloration. You can still see my skin through this. You can still see like my freckles. When I'm not using that one, I'm still loving my Maybelline Urban Cover Foundation. I do have another color. I left it on my vanity. That one is in shade 112. Mm, I don't remember the name. Uh, this one's 120 Classic Ivory. This one's the one that I've used more of. I am definitely mixing in the 112 now as I am substantially... Oh, I'm substantially losing my color, but the thing that I really, really love about this is it cuts my time a little bit because it has SPF 50, which is crazy. I do have a video using this, so I will link that in a card in the corner over here, but my store, there's not too many shades, so the shades are kind of weird. I just find drugstore colors to be a little wonky. Some high-end colors are also very wonky, don't get me wrong. I really, really like it. I would say I'm probably like halfway done. I would not say it's a um, full coverage, though. It claims to be full coverage. I would say it's a medium coverage. If you have a lot of imperfections to cover, it does not cover acne. Powder. I'm really loving the Derma Blend powder in the shade Cool Beige. They also have the original one, which is white. And now they have an illuminating one as well, which is kind of like a light yellow color with shimmer in it, iridescence, whatever. Um, so I've had this for a long time because when I'm my regular pale self, I cannot use this because it is too dark. But now that I have a little tiny, tiny little bit of color, I can actually use this. Um, it's a really beautiful powder, okay? I'm using it all over my face today. It is quite mattifying, so if you do like a little bit of something something to show through highlighter and setting spray is going to be your best friend to kind of take away the powderiness it's super super finely milled like it is crazy how thin 
and light and fluffy this is. Okay, so blush. Actually, no, let's do highlighter because I usually apply highlighter next. I have been for quite some time applying highlighter after powder before blush. I just find that it blends in much more seamlessly. You can't see a line of highlighter on my face, so I just prefer that look. This is one of my go-tos this month. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle. Again, just because it is a little darker, I can still use this when I am fair, but when I have a little color, it does look a little prettier. It's kind of like a peachy gold champagne sounds uh, rather honestly they're beautiful they're blinding this will last you forever especially if you have a large collection of items if this is your only highlighter this will still last you a long time but if you have like if it's one of many it will really last you your probably whole life, honestly. Next, I'm so sure you guys are tired of me talking about this blush, but I've tried to find a little bit of a dupe for it in Tarte. I can't open it. This is the Tarte Blush in Party. As you can see, I have hit pan. It's a small size. I really like this color. But again, it's limited edition, so I can't find it. So I went into Sephora and I tried to match it to one of their other blushes because Tarte blushes last a really, really long time. Sometimes I find blush disappears on me through the day. The only complaint I have about Tarte is there's no shimmer in them, which I really love a good shimmer. Um, but I'm actually trying to work past it because there's this little thing called highlighter, so we're working on it. But this one is in the color Seduce, so they are fairly similar. This one has a little bit more pink in it. This one's a bit more like muted. Another thing, which they are not in here, but I will explain. I have photos, so I don't know where I have put them, honestly. Should probably go find them but my favorite lashes are the pure cosmetic lashes i don't even know the name of them again i will figure it out don't worry they only have five um lashes i think so i can tell just by looking at them but they're so beautiful i always get lots of compliments when i wear them they're super super long like they touch my eyebrow so yeah but they're like nice and Spiky, but not too spiky, but like really pretty and really full. There's like length and volume, but like not like a caterpillar on your eye. It's, they're beautiful. I also really love the Pure Lash Glue. It's so good, bitch. It is better than Duo in my opinion. It's also cruelty free, which is awesome, awesome. Why did I just say that? That was so stupid. Um... <laughs> Sometimes they just zoop zoop right on perfectly sometimes I have to finesse them a little bit more but really good honestly and it does dry down clear I've not had like crusty white shit on my eye so that's great a favorite lip combo which I am currently wearing this is not the only lip combo I switch out my lip products daily Okay, the lip liner that I'm wearing today is the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. I love these. They are, I don't know, six bucks on sale usually. This one's in the shade Innocent 32. I literally am out. Like, today was my last use, so I'm gonna have to go buy another one. I don't love all of the colors. I do like more of the nudie pinks. For six bucks, it's great. They are definitely a little bit more on the drying side. Are they waterproof? Because they almost feel waterproof just because they, um, like dry down, like really matte. They also do break v really very easy, these ones. But again, for six bucks, what are you gonna do? There's not much you can't do, okay? So just be gentle with it. Don't roll it up too far. The lipstick that I have been loving is the Too Faced Nude Beach Lip. You can kind of see I've used an, an okay amount. Again, when I continuously go back, that's all I have left. When I continuously go back to a lipstick, 
I know it's doing well just because I have so many to it's a good sign for me so yeah this is literally like just a, the perfect nude pink honestly that is what it looks like on its own and then the base that I have is a little bit more on the nude side um, I'll see if I can swatch that, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get... Oh, I think we should be able to get something out of here. And then there is the lip liner. So still, it still has a little bit of pink in it, but it's definitely more of a brown pink. And then together, of course, this is what we have. I just really like the combination, but I don't find that gloss applies really seamlessly on this combination i'm not sure if it's the lipstick or the lip liner but i find that it like breaks down the lipstick and you can kind of see my lips through it but it's also one that does not last overly long um i have to reapply two three times honestly in a night fragrance this is so divine like, who uses divine? Me. It's divine. Oh, bitch. This is gonna be my fucking shit. Oh my god. Yes. So, I wanted this fragrance for quite some time. You, I only spray one spritz of this. That's all I need, just because it's an eau de parfum. It lasts a long time on me. I don't need a gazillion sprays, just because I just find it, not strong, but it's one is enough for me i really like that it's a spray this was about 30 dollars at sephora it's just so good oh my god it's just so sexy vanilla jasmine musk or something like that there's not many ingredients in here but it's just so good um I wanted it for a really long time and then I smelt it on my friend Danielle and I was like, bitch, what are you wearing? And it was this and that just sold me. I was like, okay, amazing. Because I was on the fence about it for literally like a year and a half. And then I was like, let me just get the rollerball and then we'll see how she goes. But it's so good. If you're on the fence on it, buy it. Okay, so this is my For You. My best friend's sister gave it to me just because she knows that I love like skincare. I'm also planning on doing a video like a battle video between the Foreo and the Clarisonic. Again, if that's something that interests you, give this video a thumbs up so I know I have both of them. This one, I don't even know which one this one is. I think it's the, oh, right here. The Luna Fofo. <laughs> this came in, this came in her, what is that box? Fab Fit Fun. It's really tiny and really cute if you're kind of in between two houses, whether it's your mom's and your dad's, your boyfriend, your husband's, I don't know what you do, okay? Like maybe a boyfriend and husband, no judgment here. Um, maybe you're going for a sleepover at your friends, your cousin's house, I don't care what you're doing. It's just the perfect little size of travel. Like it's just so good. So this one I really like just because you don't have to replace any heads it is an antibacterial rubberized bristle thing so i just put my cleanser on i turn it on which is a sonic pulse and then it vibrates twice when you need to move it to the next section of your face it takes batteries which you can unscrew from the bottom you have like larger bristles here at the top to kind of just like get around the nose area and then you have smaller softer bristles on the bottom the thing that i like about this one also this one is 100 percent safe to use every single day if you want to just because it's not um it's not abrasive, so I do really like that. For one of the cleansers that I use, so I mentioned this in my skincare routine. This is the Neostrata Clarify um, cleanser. It has PHAs and AHAs, 4%. This one has salicylic acid in it. This one is for acne prone skin. So I use this one in the morning and then I use a different one at night. It really, really has helped 
honestly. I do use SPF in the morning just because of other products that I'm using anyways. But this again has AHAs and PHAs which are like a chemical exfoliant so it can make you sensitive to the sun it can make you burn easier if you are outside in the sun <laughs> i do kind of go more in depth with it in my skincare video so again i will link that oops <laughs> right over here for you and again this one you can find at shopper drug mart on sale for like 18 dollars if you get it at the right time i would repurchase it but I did buy a different cleanser for acne just because I'm always willing to try something new, you know. You should not use that if you're already on any kind of acne products from your dermatologist or Accutane or anything like that. Another product is my Bioderma Micellar Water. Bioderma always has a duo pack for $30 for a 500 ml and then times two if that's a thousand milliliters, 30 bucks plus my employee discount. It just makes more sense. I was using the pink one i really like the blue one a lot more they have three different kinds they have the pink one which is the regular scentsy bow uh, the blue one which is the hydra bow and then the green one which is i can't remember what the name is but the green one is more for like an oilier skin even though i am oily i'm dehydrated as shit most people who are oily you're dehydrated so i do get like oily i wake up with an oily face every single day um makeup does break down right here but i can also have like a dry patches on my forehead or just like tight and dry on my cheeks so i'm your full combo bitch so when i was using the red one the pink one the, the sensitive one I find that that one was even drying to my skin so I wanted to try the hydrating one which is the blue one and I'm liking it a lot better so I will definitely repurchase the blue one. Okay another thing that I have been loving is my Jurgens lotion. It's like a self tanner kind of but not a self tanner. Um, I actually really, really like this. So this is the Jergens Natural Glow Nourish Daily Moisturizer Fair to Medium. I don't use this as an actual lotion. I don't like it as a lotion. It's not hydrating enough for me. I use this more as a self tanner. The reason why I like this as a self tanner opposed to an actual self tanner is for a few reasons honestly i don't hate the scent of this all self tanner has like a, a scent to it even high-end ones like saint tropez they all have a scent and for whatever reason it kind of nauseates me the other thing that self tanner does that this does not do is the way self tanner fades is really really weird like it can be like super like splotchy and patchy and you can just like literally like it's just like not cute i don't know don't like it but it's just like really weird this does not do that because it's technically not a self tanner but definitely still gives me color i don't know what magical stuff is in here but i really like it and i can definitely see myself repurchasing this one and also i could see myself going darker to the medium to dark one i don't think it's gonna give you that much color i don't have any streaking none, none of that and i just use my hands as for like actual moisturizer just because again i don't use that one as a moisturizer i use it more as like a self tanner and this is what i actually use as a moisturizer so when i came back from greece my skin was so dry probably like two or three weeks after i came back i was losing my color fast and i was literally peeling like a snake on my legs they were so dry and also very itchy so i needed i really needed something i have like saint ives and like vaseline like Vaseline lotion, I mean, not like Vaseline, Vaseline. And they just, they just really don't work that well. I needed something a little bit 
better but again I wouldn't go high-end high-end with this because again they don't really moisturize that much so I went to the dermatologist section in Shoppers Drug Mart which is usually around aisle one and this is Bioderma this is the Autoderm Intensive Ultra Soothing Balm for very dry, irritated to a topic sensitive skin, anti itch, paraben free. So I really needed it to be anti itch because I was itching like a mother. And I also needed intense hydration because I was peeling like a snake. So it's kind of perfect. It's kind of thick. Um, it can take a, a little second to rub into the skin, but I definitely feel hydrated for, I would say, like a day or two, which, let's be honest, with other moisturizers you put on and it's sucked up in a few hours. So I got this at Winners. This is so cool. I love it. It was like 10 bucks. I've seen other ones for like 30 bucks and I was like, bitch, no. So this is a little tiny small diffuser. I already have like a regular full size diffuser, but I have it out in my lashing area. Um, sometimes your girl needs some zen eucalyptus to wax, so this is kind of perfect. This is no water and it comes in two compartments or three compartments, I guess. The bottom here you push if i can you know do it then oh there we go and then you can take this out and there's a little circular filter pad in there and you just pour your essential oil into that there is a little fan and then in the top part here this is where again if i could do it that'd be literally great It's not important, that's where the batteries are. And then you just push the button. The fan, you can see the, oh, maybe not. You can see the fan rotating in there. And it comes out right here. And it's just so good. I turn it off every night just because this light is so bright. I know you can't tell, but when it's pitch black, it's brightest. So I always turn it off when I am going to bed but I have been using it every night since I got it it was again 10 bucks at winners and I really enjoyed it okay my last favorite before my nestle favorite is again a random toothbrush this is the oral b brawn toothbrush I had manual toothbrushes for a while I had battery operated electronic toothbrushes for a while but I really needed one that like it just does its thing. There's the really, really expensive toothbrushes, which again, if that's your thing, you do that. But I was like, I will be damned if I spend a hundred dollars on a toothbrush. You know, that's my vibe. So I was like, no. Really easy. The heads can be replaced. It's on a timer. There's only one setting, so it's super easy. It's like it's on and off. You know, like two minutes on and then off. So then you know, you know. Um, this one is the flossing head, I believe. I originally had the sensitive on there, and I have sensitive gums, like I can kind of bleed. So I wanted to try the sensitive one first, but this one has been doing well for me. Um, each color, like the blue bristles, are longer than the white bristles, and then the green ones are longer than the white ones as well. So it's just kind of all different angles to kind of get all up in there, and I really like it. My not-so-favorite. I'm sure I have more, but this is the only one that I could think of. Oh, bitch. I did not like this at all. At all. This is the L'Oreal Extraordinarily Clay Shampoo and Conditioner. I bought this because I was just finding like my hair gets oily within like two or three days. And I was like, I'm tired of dry shampooing, okay? Yeah, well, we're back to dry shampooing because I hate this. It is for oily hair. It was one of the top rated drugstore shampoos and conditioners. So I was like, okay, perfect. So this says, oily impurities at the scalp can lead to limp, 
lifeless roots while overwashing can dry ends out. So I use this for probably a few months and I have never experienced an itchy scalp <laughs> like I did with this. I don't have an itchy scalp normally, honestly. Um, this is also silicone free in case you care. So one of the ingredients or a few of the ingredients that I've used before but for whatever reason just the concoction in here can't do. So one of the things is um, salicylic acid which salicylic acid is meant to dry out acne and things like that so I was kind of interested to see that in this but it's actually in my other clarifying shampoo that I use as well. Um, also in here is a few different kinds of alcohols and more citric acid. So I just think it was just a combination of all that stuff. Um, talking about it is making my hair itchy again. Oh god. But it wasn't even my hair that was itchy. Just because like when you're rinsing it, my body was itching. But now my body is not itching anymore. My scalp does not itch anymore. So I don't know what the hell is in that shit, but no. That is it for my favorites video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I will catch you in my next video on Monday. Toodles!